Does that make Lucian <laughs> his Lumiere? I'm just thinking he's got a potato eye. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, how are you? How has your week been? Now, if you're looking at the title of this video, you might be a little bit confused as to why I'm making a video about reading Akatar when didn't I just make one like a couple of months ago? In my reading books I really don't want to read but have heard are really good video. The answer is yes. However, I have not since read any of the other books in the Akatar series and all of my friends are begging me, begging me, begging me to read to finish it, especially to read A Court of Mist and Fury, which is the second book in the series by Sarah J Maas. But it was around the end of last semester, around Christmas time, my friend Kate, my friend Abby and I, we were on TikTok doing one of those like, which Akatar character are you? Like filters. Out of the many times that we did it, I could not remember, I did not recognize a single character that we got. I don't actually remember anything about reading Akatar. Like anything about the plot, which is very unusual for me. And so the fact that I didn't remember anything about a book I had only read three months prior, is like not great. So in order to continue reading the series, I feel like in order to give it a fair shot of my rating, I have to read it again. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So disclaimer, this is going to be a full spoiler Akatar vlog. So let's get into it. I just finished chapter one of Agatar, and I know everybody describes it as like, I know it's said to be a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but like, from the first chapter and the very tiny, minute amount of things I remember about the other, about the rest of the book. It's like Beauty and the Beast meets Cinderella and the Hunger Games. And I love that like, on the first page, it's like, no mortal would go to Perthian unless they have a death wish. My like, girl, you really thought, you really thought you did something there. You did not. Currently, so far, I just finished chapter two. All of the characters we've met are annoying me. Well, I was reading Akatar on the couch in the living room. But then I started falling asleep on the couch at 9.15 p.m. <laughs> so I think I gotta go to bed. I'm enjoying it so far. She's making friends with Lucien. I'm really hoping to, to get through this book tonight. I'm on page one, 124, but I told my friend today that I wasn't planning on immediately picking up Akamov after I finish this and she got so mad at me. It's 8.45. I'm generally a pretty fast reader, I think. So I feel like I could finish it tonight. I honestly haven't really been getting into this book as much as I wanted to be. What part am I at? Um, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, something I was gonna say. I understand, obviously I'm not at this part in the book yet. But I understand that like this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. So obviously Tamlin needs Feyre to fall in love with her, right? In order to break the curse. So that he can get that stupid mask off his face. But it's something I never really understood about Beauty and the Beast either. But you would think if you needed this girl to fall in love with you, you would actually like be nice to her and like make an effort to get her to fall in love with you. But no, the better way is to be mean to her and make her want to hate her life. So like, if Tamlin is the beast, does that make Lucian <laughs> his Lumiere? 
because that is a really funny image in my head. <laughs> It's been a little while since I've updated y'all. I read quite a bit today. I read like 130 pages, um, just like outside, so I wasn't really like updating. We are at the part Nesta is telling Feyre that she knows that the story that Tamlin put in their minds of where Feyre was is fake. But see, this is how, you know, I have a problem because <laughs> obviously I know what's going, like, I know what happened, like, one of the big plot points that happens in the rest of the books, you know, like, who two characters end up with. So when <laughs> Resand comes in the book and he's being all mean and literally, like, threatening to kill Feyre. I'm like, oh my gosh, Reese, hey buddy, how's it going? And then when he's not there, I'm like, oh, I wish he'd come back. And like, that's a problem. Don't you think like, that I'm like wishing he was the, like, for him to stay when he's like being a turd. Let's give an update on some of these tabs I put in here. I thought it was really funny when Feyre described her sister's skin as infinitely delicate and shreddable what do you mean shreddable why would you whatever oh <laughs> is that what when i just find it really funny how like she's Farah is always describing lucian's eye as being russet and the only thing that I ever really hear described as russet is a potato. So every time she is describing Lucian and his eyeball, I'm just thinking he's got a potato eye. And that to me is really funny. And so like, Feyre is like eating dinner with them, whatever. And so she's like, this is what you do with your lives. Spare humans from the treaty and have fine meals. <laughs> and Lucian looks at her and goes, We also dance with the spirits under the full moon and snatch human babes from their cradles to replace them with changelings. <laughs> That's just funny to me. Yeah, those are the only funny ones I've like highlighted. Don't look at my Christmas pajamas. <laughs> Why are you not taking this dreadful opportunity to your advantage to see that Tamlin is worth less than a sack of potatoes? Russet, if you will. <laughs> Rhysand was the only one who bet on her to win. <laughs> okay, I think I have like literally less than 10 pages left of this book. And I have not gotten to the part that I have been waiting the entire book to read. And I'm worried I've missed it. So I'm going to finish this. Then we might have to do some Google. Okay, it's maybe probably been about a month since I finished Akatar. I don't know what happened, but I fell into sort of a, a video slump and I didn't post anything for over a month, like maybe like five weeks. I didn't post a single like long video. I was posting a ton of shorts and which welcome to all those new subscribers. If you came from a YouTube short, I'm glad to have you here. I just hit a hundred subscribers the other day and now I have 110 and like, that's super exciting. I think I gained like seven subscribers in one day, which was nuts. Anyways, but I am over it. I am over my video slump. I have lots of videos that I've already filmed, which was the weirdest thing because I was filming all these videos, but I wasn't editing them and posting them, but I was still reading for these videos and filming them, but I wasn't doing anything to actually get them on the internet. So now we're back in the swing of things, but I never closed out this video. So I finished Avatar. I didn't change my rating. 
I don't know. I think it's really hard just because I already don't like Tamlin from the start. So it's like really hard to kind of get into the book because how are you supposed to like really enjoy a book if you already have decided you don't like the love interest that is presented to you in the book? Kind of hard. But actually about yesterday, I like finally picked up Akamoff, A Court of Mist and Fury, and I'm into it. I read that much like just yesterday. So I'm already like over a quarter of the way through, which considering how big this book is, it's a pretty significant way amount of the way through. Um, and I am definitely liking it a lot more than I did Akatar. But I am really glad that I decided to reread Akatar before I read this one. So this video was a success. And Feyre, she had a lot of character growth over the course of Akatar, which was really great because at the beginning, everything was annoying me <laughs> but now we're past that so that's good i like that anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're feeling up to it i hope you all have a lovely rest of your week and i will see you guys next time bye